Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. Today we're going to analyze and talk about Disney. The stock had a significant run up to around $123, but now has since pulled back to around 100 bucks. I've been trading Disney off and on for the last couple of years, usually trading in options. Disney has had a lot of problems lately. Lots of complaints on their parks, the long lines, the expense. Governor DeSantis is giving them some trouble with their tax status. But they're into a lot of things. And there is a lot of loyalty with Disney. When you think of family entertainment, you think of Disney. You think of theme parks and children, you think of Disney. You think of streaming services, you think of Disney. They're forced to be reckoned. But let's look to see if we have a trade here. But before we do, I want to remind you that the Stock Planner Channel is an education channel. We share our ideas. We do our own due diligence. We learn it and win. Let's get started. Usually when I analyze a stock, I do the fundamental analysis first because I need to know what the stock is. I need to know a little bit about it. I need to like the stock. In this case, I already know a lot of that. So we're going to do the fundamental analysis after the technical or brief technical. Now we just want to look at the chart and we see that Walt Disney in the early parts of 2024 had a significant move up and now it has dropped back to almost those those levels. Is this a level of support right here? Some would, people would see that as a level of support. You got earnings coming up. The zero lag MACD says, hey, it might look like it might go up and so does the RSIs and it's an oversold position under 30. The TTM squeeze is not showing anything. And looking at it, and knowing that Walt Disney has had a lot of complaints and problems and wokeness, if I believe this is a level of support, I don't think Walt Disney World or Walt Disney stock is going to move that much up. The analysts believe it's going to move about 30% up to about $124. That's up here. That's a significant amount of distance. But that's over a year's time, and they're showing a bond. So taking a look at the chart, my thinking is that we're at a level of support, and I don't think this stock's going to move that much over the next three to four months. Let's do some fundamental analysis and see if that supports this kind of view. It supports my technical view. No move down, little move up. Starting my fundamental analysis with FinViz. It's a free charting package, lots of advertising. It draws these nice little look channel lines and lot support lines and it shows it a downward channel doesn't seem to have stopped checking to see and i already know but disney is optional and shortable then recommends a buy rating and a target price of 124 124 is up back to its resistance level the latest analyst recommendations have been a buy and the latest piece of news is three beaten down stocks are in for a jaw-dropping rebound. Nike, which, yeah, that's really has dropped. Disney and Starbucks. And these three stocks, I do trade often. We're talking about Disney today. Switching out to simply Wall Street. There's a free version and a paid version. I'm using a paid version. Very cheap. And I like the, the graphics. Starting out with a snowflake. The health of this company is good. The future looks bright. And it's not a stock that's undervalued and let's see it's it's just about two percent undervalued according to simply wall street this is nice earnings are forecast to grow 33 percent 34 percent and all the analysts that are covered this stock are in good agreement that this stock will rise 27 percent so this information bodes well for my belief that we've hit our support level the fact that it's not seriously undervalued may indicate that its growth will be slow other entertainment companies like warner music and netflix are walt disney's competitors using the discounted cash flow model the calculations indicate that the current price is 97 dollars and the fair value is 98 not much difference the revenue growth for disney sh should increase over the next year and so should earnings this seems to be a, a pretty good chart company industry for earnings and that's important and 
simply Wall Street has the average one year price target as 124, the same as Finviz. A lot of these packages share the same data. That's why if you're a beginner, starting out with Finviz is a good way of getting familiar with some, some stocks. And you should pick a couple, just a few, that you get to know and love. And this is a dividend stock, and the dividend yield is about 1%. So I'm getting a pretty good feeling that this is support and that the analysts say it's going to go to 124. I think it's going to be a slow growth. And let's see if we can find a option trade that will capitalize on those, those assumptions. And before I do, I want to tell you the reasons why I think that growth is going to be slow. There's several different legal issues, particularly this dispute with the Florida government over their operations in the same park in their tax status. They have been resolved, but that caused a problem. Some people disagree with Disney's direction of going to more adult content on their streaming services. They want to keep it family origin. And there is a fear that over the coming years that there will be a slowdown in subscriber accounts. I must say that I w I'm bullish on Disney for the long term. Well, I sure wish they'd get their long lines at the parks and their costs down. I can't imagine taking a family of four. And I want to mention one other thing that irritates me about Walt Disney or Disney Company is their desire to enter politics and wokeness. I just wish they would focus on providing entertainment for families and stick to that instead of trying to change the world. I believe their wokeness over the last two or three years has hurt their business, just like it has hurt Budweiser. Now I'm using a tool called Option Strat, and currently I'm in the free version, but this is a tool that's worthwhile buying as well. It, once you do that, you, you turn on some of the other features. This is early July, July 11th, no, July 13th, wow. And I wanna go out, I think, to September 20th. I wanna optimize and see what my strategy is. I'm, I'm bullish on this stock. Target price, not too much. And uh, my budget is going to be $500. And you can buy a long call, risking $390. That's pretty significant. And we got a bull split spread, risking $255. Let's, see, let's take a look at that. We're selling a put slightly out of the money. That's good. It gives you a lot of premium. Yeah, $5.75. And we're buying one at the money at 320 so the difference between those two prices is going to be this 255 with a max loss of 245 so it's about one for one we're going to have to put 500 dollars into a margin or hold a margin hold really not using it it's just holding it and our break even is 97.45 so as long as it stays above 97.45 we'll have a winner on our hands back to the table this is our playing field and its trading range is about 12 percent so if you make it around take profits around 10 percent you're going to get somewhere an expected profit of about 180 and if you take your losses at about six or seven percent right in here you're going to lose 143 expected profit and expected loss break even 97.45 we're going to look at that in a minute and this is the amount that's going right in our pocket so this is a long trade 97.45 right about there and we want it to be up in the green but our max profit is going to be 200 around 250 dollars and our expected profit is around 150 dollars if it goes our way and this trade expires September 20th September 20th do you think it's going to go in this, up in that time frame or you think it's coming back down remember if it goes up you can take profit at any time you can take profit at any time it goes up just a little bit you can take and make yourself thirty three dollars thirty five dollars our risk capital is 245 and if you make thirty five or forty dollars that'll equal around fourteen or fifteen percent and that's that's decent. All you have to do is wait for it to come up in here and take your losses if it comes down here. So what do you think? Going up or going down? Walt Disney has lots of problems. 
But it is a very sound company. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember, do your own due diligence. Never copy trade. Remember, there's two other stocks to look at. The same beaten down situation as Disney. Hope you're trading successful. Happy trading and we'll catch you on the flip.